Aloha Fridays hey. from the Happy Hour Show Bay Area. It's your boy, Mr. Overtime, along with my cousins. Dradi, Mikey Slacks. We got a special one. My little bro came and blessed us. You know what I'm saying? He's been highly, highly in demand with them hands. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you do not know this, man, you ain't ate some good food. <laughs> my boy, Chef Clee in the building. What's happening? Hey. hey. What's poppin' with you, bro? Know you've been cooking, doing your thing. We go back though. We go back, <laughs> back, 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 back. We go back since the sandbox. Right. You know what I'm saying? So uh, this one, this one really touches me. I know that you be in like high demand, and I know you really don't get on the camera. No. Nope. So you know this is a real blessing for us. And Thank I mean, we have we, we have yet to have a chef, at least you know what I'm saying on, on the show yet. It's so official. this is exactly. another first. You know, hey, another first. Good. <laughs> yeah. So we gotta you know what I'm saying get a little toast. You Let's know what I'm saying? Get it in. Let's bro, get it in. So bro, 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 bro. Bro, so you got the we happy. He got the happy happy on the Red Bull. <laughs> you gotta go cook for somebody important. You can't burn nothing. Stay focused. <laughs> it is Aloha Fridays, and I know you've been busy. I know you've been doing your thing, but let people out there know who you are, man. Where you from? My name is Chef Quees, um, Quees Kitchen. So a lot of people like to refer to me as a celebrity chef. You know, I'm just a chef. You know, I just cook for people. I, I don't go by accolades or names. You know, I'm just me. I don't never had a never had a chef cook for me. I mean, like I've had I've ha I've I've had some good food from restaurants, but I'm talking about chef is like what I see you do with this food. It's like I think that's an undertone. So you got to throw that celebrity on there, man. Oh, wait, didn't you, you have Chef Boyardee? No. <laughs> oh, oh, come on, man. Yeah. Not the hey, chef. Mike, Mike, Mike brought me out the can. I'm a preservative type of guy. The ravioli don. <laughs> nah, but um. You are doing some tremendous things from being from the Bay Area. Um, talk about, you know, your journey and get into the food game, because a lot of people don't know what it takes to be a chef. Like people think you can just like sell plates and don't get me wrong to anybody that sells plates. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> there's an actual art form Facts. To, to, to what you do and, and, and to being a chef. Facts. You know, Facts. so let, let's talk about that. Facts. So there's a there's a big difference between being a cook and being a chef. Mm -hmm. You know, a chef is an artist. You know, I like to create things. Like plating is really important for me. Like, you know what I mean? I went to La Cordon Bleu. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got, uh, he got yeah. his Michelin yeah. working. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh. I, snuck, I snuck in color, culinary school around mm -hmm. 2010. You did a lot of stuff, getting to school, going to La Cordon Bleu, but you did some things before that. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's, take, a little, let's take a little bit back. So, you know, I, I used to play sports. Um, I used to be heavily involved in a lot of the wrong things growing up, you know. Growing up in Hunter's Point, it's easy to get caught up in the neighborhood BS. You know what the I mean? Politics, yeah. Politics, sure. exactly. You know, so I used to be heavily involved in that. Like, used to get in a lot of trouble. At one point, my grandmother she left in 2010, so I decided to do something different. Mm -hmm. You know, change my life and go in a different direction. That's what led me to enroll in culinary school. That's good, man. Wow. I mean, what was it specifically about food that made you want to take that route? So. I always cook, like ever since I was a little kid, like mm -hmm. cooking has always been like my thing, right? right so when I was like 13 years old. How people say old, their love language. Exactly, like, yeah. exactly. <laughs> you know, I always love cooking. I always love watching my grandmother cook. I always love watching my aunt and uncle cook. Nobody like, throws was, like, I don't care. It was I don't care what race you is, yeah, yeah, right. Don't nobody throw down harder than Graham. <laughs> nah, hell no. Nah. That's a fact. Real. That's nah. a fact. <laughs> nah, hell no. Nah. That is a fact for sure. Yeah, no, cooking's always been my thing, you know. I just never really took it serious, you know. When I was a little younger, I worked in a few restaurants, did some little sh cook jobs. What made you want to become a chef rather than just working like normal cook jobs? I mean, having having kids, having a family, you know, that doing something that my kids could possibly feel proud of me for. Right you know on. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And you can only be a line cook for so long for you Facts. gotta get your stripes and move on Facts. up the ladder. Facts. Right. right. You can and only then, grill something. It ain't worth it unless, unless it's yours, man. So Facts. much respect and man. congratulations oh, to that. You're doing your thing, yeah. man. For yeah. sure. So we we going through the journey, you know what I'm saying? You know, leveling up, trying to look for something, you know, to get to that back. You know what I mean? Facts. And you started, you know, slanging them things, you know, you know what I'm saying? Originally <laughs> at first, you know what I mean? When I first started out, I was um I was cooking out of my kitchen. Like literally, I would have like a line of people Sick. lined up around my house, like 
Wow. Waiting for a whole done, block. Go go literally waiting yeah. to buy yeah. plates. It's four o'clock. I need got two plates. You got some oxtail. They was like, <laughs> like, what club y'all waiting to get into? <laughs> yeah, right. Man, it was crazy. My neighbors just complaining, calling the health department, oh, all man. type of stuff. Oh, like, yeah. Damn, they were cracking. They were cracking. Exactly. 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 Lined up like you're yeah, right? yeah, the food is love right. The food. Hey, just like them recent readers, it was hitting hey. them taste buds. <laughs> <laughs> so initially, um, yeah, of course, I wanted to open up a restaurant. Right. Um, I actually got a call from this lady, a random mm. lady, and this is what led into me opening up the first restaurant. Sure. So I got a call from this random lady, and she's like, um, "Hey, I have this space. Ooh. I've been having it for the last two years, and." Um, I only do catering out of it. Nice. It's it's not, you know, it's not built up. It's not nice for a restaurant. But if I were to have a business partner, you know, maybe they might have some money and then we could join teams and Oh, um, and you cook by the trash, huh? Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, of Sorry. course, somebody somebody yeah, told yeah, her. Yeah, somebody yeah, told her that I had a crazy she, line. She knows, she knows. Facts. Facts. So we ended up hooking up. I ended up investing some money into it, mm -hmm. renovating it, and it turned into a restaurant. Nice. But the bad thing, you know, I wasn't really educated on my forms and documents or any of that stuff. I literally just jumped off you and said off the post with it, like, I'm in here. Facts. <laughs> facts. <laughs> facts. So long story short, the lady ended up screwing me over. Ooh. Oh, yeah. But I'm man. sure you learned the valuable lesson. Oh, the facts. experience you got from that was priceless. Totally. Right? Yeah. Totally. So, I mean, the shit that you create now. These these lamb chops, I mean, with these crazy <laughs> fucking drizzles. I mean, like flower rose petal. That's that's the chef plea today. Let, let's talk about the early meals you, you was flipping though. They're, they weren't they weren't as 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 high end as that, right? So I, I've always kind of prided myself on plating. Even when I was doing the foam plates, like I was yeah. literally real serious about how I was arranging my food. Like, Presented. And I think that was one of the things that set me apart from a lot of the other people that were just beginning to cook out of their houses too. You know. I always like really, really, really put emphasis on the way I arrange my food. Yeah. But at the same time, I mean, there's only so much you could do when it, you got stuff coming out of foam plates. I'm telling you. All that different and, and since we're talking about foam plates, <laughs> now we in this era where if if you from the fucking bay, you know, it's 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 food war mania right now. Right? Yeah, Cause you got a lot of chefs that's coming up right now and they, and they in the beginning stages kind of like you you were at this time. Right. And y'all bumping heads. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, we'll keep, we'll keep it PG-13 now because we, we all cool. But there was a couple like, because y'all didn't know each other at the point, you know, you trying to sit on the mountain, they trying to sit on the mountain. But you got a lot of chefs like the Hot Dog Coles out there. You had uh, Chef Smelly out there. Mm, right. You got a lot of these chefs that's out here. You know, y'all out here kind of like doing similar <laughs> plates. You know, uh, my boy Thanks. Baker, man, you got a couple of these cats that's popping up doing the plates and, and getting notoriety out here in the Bay. And y'all, y'all kind of like, you know. Everybody's getting a little piece here and there. Yeah, fine. And, and you coming up making noise. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and, and I'm not being biased because it's my boy, but making noise. Right. And it was because of that. Because I'm a firm believer. Don't get me wrong. I support everybody movement. But when them plates is pitching $50, $60 and them things ain't over flooding, I'm having an issue. <laughs> right. That's just me at overtime. Y'all could, yeah. could, yeah. could tell. Portions is everything. I know right. from the very beginning. You've had the shit that don't close. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, like, I just want to keep a, a buck about, like, you know, like you said, plate and everything that also got the name buzzing, right. but just the, the 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 type of food that you're making. Right. Because, I mean, I wasn't really seeing a lot of the black in food, a lot of the Cajun, a lot of the Caribbean right. food. Right. Does that come with some of your traces from your lineage or, 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 or let's talk about that? So, definitely. So, you know, I... um. I grew up in a household with Allende and those others, you know. Shout out to my guy, the jealous guys, stuff, man. Right. So his dad is Jamaican, like mm. literally from Jamaica. And a lot of the dishes and things that he would cook was like strictly from the island. You know what I mean? So that's kind of where I got, you know, a lot of the Caribbean island style. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Facts, facts. So I would try to implement some of the things that he was teaching me into the things that I was cooking. Nice. You know? So so you got a little bit from aunt, a little yeah, bit from fact. grams, a little so, bit here. So I took a little everything. piece here, here, here. Yeah, yeah, culinary yeah, twist yeah, with some confusion, right. you know? So oh, would right. you say oh, your oh. plates were 
a little bit different from the other people that were up and coming at the same time as you were, and that's why you had such a buzz about totally. yours. So I pride myself on trying to do something different than everyone else. For sure, you know, definitely. I'm, I'm like a eyeball per- type of person. Hey. Like, if everybody's going this way, I'm gonna try to go that way. Right you on. know, and make it cool to go that way. Exactly. You know? Can only you only can do so many fish, so many right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, no, no hating. Again, I'm not being biased. I'm just saying, like, you, know, you, gotta, you gotta extend that palette, baby. <laughs> so now, you know, you've gone to school, you've got you've gotten uh, you know, the ability to, to pretty much cook anything. Right. Uh, you know, keeping it in the islands and stuff like that, you know, you incorporated a lot in your menus. You like from the breakfast right. to the dinner. Uh, I mean, right. and then even before, like I didn't really see a lot of people doing that. Uh, cause this is post um uh, uh vegan era you know what i'm saying right. I mean, let's just keep it real you know right. in the last six years of vegan areas it's yeah it's taking off it's taking off yeah. motherfuckers are eating that swine baby <laughs> eating that they want to get back to the real <laughs> you know what i'm saying so uh you know as as you're progressing now you're not only progressing with the plates and 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 you're also progressing with clientele now right right fact. so let, let's get into some of the early stages of some of the uh as we say, he says he's just a caterer. Right. <laughs> he's a celebrity the chef. Hey. No, man. So let's I'm talk, let's, chef, let's talk about, um, you know, the first time. Uh, let's go to the very first time. Who's it doesn't have to be an artist, person? but like yeah, the like first company. Or yourself, that, okay. that very first big ticket where you were like, mama, I made it. We here. <laughs> so the first celebrity that hit me up was Filthy. Yeah. Right. He, can, he, can, he on a big stage. Oh, yeah. Right? Filthy be spinning in bags. Right, 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 right. For real, for real. So he literally just got on my IG and started liking pictures. Oh, okay. Like, hella pictures. <laughs> like, like in a row, like, oh, yeah, I'm about to make some <laughs> <laughs> So I'm showing wifey, like, like, look at this. And then he DM'd me right after, like, what's oh. up, bro? Can you bring me this tonight? Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> mind, you, oh. mind you, it's like 6.30 in the afternoon, and I'm scrambling. Like, Ooh. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> Make like, it happen. What am I supposed to do? Well, rappers like, be up all night, baby. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I need so, that lobster tail right now. <laughs> right. Nizz so rap. I put something together, and shit, I brought it to him. You know, Man. I'm not gonna lie, I was nervous as hell. Yeah. Uh, nervous as hell walking into his hotel room. He was like on the top floor. Oh, and I'm telling her, like, Man, what am I supposed to, what I'm gonna say? <laughs> <laughs> Here's your food. Hello. <laughs> Can I have the money? Hello, Mr. Filthy. Like, ah. <laughs> it was crazy because I didn't even have my pricing down. Like, I didn't, uh, I didn't know what I was gonna charge him. 1500. I didn't know. <laughs> Two racks. <laughs> I didn't know. Filthy rich, right? <laughs> I literally didn't know anything. Like yeah. literally, but I just, you know, I took it up to him and he was asking like, all right, bro, so how much? Man. I looked <laughs> I looked at him how on much a blank right face, here? like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> you know how much he like, man, you gotta get it together. Like you gotta Ooh, know how much you were charging. At least yeah, yeah. it's cool by he helped me. He helped me. Yeah. Like, I'm That's not gonna lie. Up. He helped me. Like he he was telling me, like, you know, regardless of who it is, like mm-hmm. You know what you charge is what you it's charge. What you like, charge, that's yeah. You. That's, that's, you know? that's what you charge for your product. Your service. Today's right. price right. is not yesterday's price. <laughs> but, <laughs> that's but. a slogan that's copywritten. Hey. <laughs> 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 but uh, after you know, we don't gotta say the number. When he gave you the exchange, though, like, what was that interaction like? Because I, I remember the first time I did a paid gig, and I was just like. That feeling, huh? Fuck. Like, yeah. I, I literally cried because, you know, I thought about my brother. Right. So many people telling yeah. me I couldn't do this. I would right. never get paid. So right. how did that feel when you first got that bag from, you can honestly say, you can really say legend in the right. Bay Area? So honestly, for me, it was like, it was like a breath of fresh air. Mm. Like, honestly, because, I, you know, I spent so many years doing the wrong things, mm. you know, to actually make good money doing the right thing was like, you yeah. know, it was like, Something totally different for me. Hell yeah. yeah. Was that when you when you first started, like, wow, I can take it from just like selling the plates, even though like that's popping, like I could take it to this next level. Oh, facts. Facts. You know, especially after he called me back. Right. Second time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So at you this know, point, the third like, time. You got your and was, he, was, was, was you asking the miss? Oh, Think he liked me? <laughs> Hell yeah! He me back. <laughs> no, it was he he, he did he start? Back. Did he start referring you to like his folks and stuff as well? Because so, that's big. Cause yeah, that, that's yeah, true. Because that's real. that's all it really takes in exactly. any in any business and anything that you're doing. Word of mouth. I don't exactly. care what anybody mm-hmm. says. Yeah. That's still to me like the ultimate oh, yeah, power. For really sure. Is. So he literally, I had like a thousand followers at that time, and he literally started. Prom- promote me everywhere snapchat wow. instagram facebook yes, sir. everywhere he could like he was literally posting me. that's what's up and like right. so many people they were just that's you know, a cheer we gotta give it yeah. yeah. we, 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 we gotta give it we gotta give it we gotta give it salute salute you know what I mean? so, 
So you just finished cooking for Filthy. You got the buzz going in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Fact. He's getting some, obviously, some more clientele is trickling down from that. Facts. What was the next steps after that? Did you did you get it together per se, like he told you? Definitely. So I I, I literally started studying. You know, I started studying like all of the the local chefs, like mm. Chef Smelly, Hot Dog Co, um, Chef KB, all of those chefs that were doing it in the Bay Area. I, I literally started watching them and implementing some of the things that nice. all of them did. Nice. Their dishes, I mean, that is. Huh? I mean, at no. this point, this is the birth of your catering company. Facts. And you're starting to figure out how you're going to approach the dishes. So you're, you're plating like you, you pride yourself a on. A little bit of everything. Right, right. facts. So everything. I took a piece of everybody mm -hmm. and I kind of brought them together with my own style of flavor. Yeah, for you know sure. what I mean? So, And then I, I really made emphasis on pricing, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm watching their pricing and I'm like, you know what? I'm not really tripping off making a lot of money right now. I just want people to taste my food. Get your name out, keeping it competitive. Got yeah, facts. Right? That's, so, yeah. that's got to be faith in oneself because right? that's, that's what you got. That's, yeah. that's the way people don't understand. You got to gamble. You got to put yourself out there sometimes. And people, I think, yeah. they waste so much time on thinking what's the way to do it instead yeah. of just doing it like you right. want. But that's got to be a good gamble when you bet on yourself, though. Facts. So congratulations. Yeah. Facts. Man, Facts. Sure. Thank you. So I really, I really underpriced all of my food in the beginning. Right. You know, uh, my wife would be looking at me like, why are you doing that? Or why are you charging only this when yeah. you could charge that? My method of madness was that, you know, just get them to taste the food. You know, the food is awesome. You, you taste knew they it. would be back. Exactly. For sure. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know, a lot of businesses, they give food away for free. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, so the right. way I looked right. at it was, you know, if I charge food costs, mm -hmm. at least with your best, I'll make right. my money back. Right. What I spent on it, you yeah. know, it's not it's not hurting me. We're going to go from 100 to exactly. 200, 200 to 300. Facts. 500 to 200. Like pay marketing. Facts. Yeah. Facts. And you actually kind of like saving money on marketing and mismanaging. Yeah. And, you know, exactly. going after stuff you middle, shouldn't man, be cooking sure. and making exactly. plates yeah. and wasting. I always thought like, well, since we're on the subject, like what, what does it take? Because like, I ain't gonna lie, I be seeing motherfuckers win. I know I can make me a few breakfast sandwiches that <laughs> don't nobody know about. Or I can, you know, make a Do few it. little black Mexican things that I can make. Hey, you gonna make some saying? stuff? Come on, Mike, tell me about it. Got some, hey, uh, yeah, you know. that's for real, my white rainers, yeah. Holyfields, we got a bunch of mixtures of things that I can do. I don't see nobody selling, hey, I might, I might, hey. Hey, we, it's copyrighted and I'm lying, but I ain't seen nobody making no hot water cornbread out there, baby. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Know. So I'm just saying there's things to do, but I mean, like, how, do, how does one approach it? Like, how do you scale? What do you do? Like, honestly, what would you charge for a steak? Yeah, so now, you know, I'm able to charge what I want to charge. You know what I mean? For it's real. either you're going to deal with me or you're going to go talk to somebody else. Like, I'm, I'm able to turn away people the now. Business, yeah. You know what I mean? Before. Because yeah. Exactly. Back then, I was trying to build up my name and my reputation. So, uh, you got two hundred dollars. Okay. Uh, okay. We're right. right. we gonna figure it we're out. Figure it out. Yeah. You know now. But those know. are at this point. You gotta keep real. That's more like we, like close family or nah, friends. Man. Nah. <laughs> business. Is business. I get people asking me that. People I don't even know. Oh, wow. oh okay. Man, hey, we got two hundred dollars. We we need food for five hundred people. Sure. <laughs> Some of the Come people, on, man, it's crazy, man. I seen, I seen it like I'm, I'm a close friend, and, and I you seen the being like my man like, ain't making me rich through the hundred thousand people that's trying to get my man food. You know what I mean? So, um, I, I totally get it. I mean, most people that haven't followed your journey and and, and seen the progression all the way up couldn't relate to how you can ha have have the mindset of like you say right now. I'm able right. to pick and choose who I want to work with right, right. now. Right. Um, coming up, you know, doing, you know, obviously now at this point for the last few years, it's been more uh, celebrity cooking, celebrity cooking, private cookings now, right? Right, right. right. Um, like how was, how was that when you first got into that realm? Like, How did that, like, how did your list of, like, upper echelon clientele? Celebrities, like <laughs> bro. So, um, honestly, a, a lot of the celebrity cooking that I do now, it's, I do that purposely. I do that because I'm building anticipation for the restaurant. Ah. And you're networking. Too, so the though. plot thickens. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so, smart, though. That's so when real. a lot of people, they hit me up, and, and I get a lot of hate, too. You know, oh, people would be like, wow. oh, you only cook for celebrities? Oh, you too good to cook for us? <laughs> well, like, right now. You know? uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. And I always <laughs> respond with, it's not like <laughs> that. Just, like, you know, I'm just really busy. Or... Yeah. You know, I'm not able to do that right now. Right. You yeah. know what I mean? You are, or you one, don't, you are one person, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. For real. 
But honestly, you know, sometimes I could, but I, I don't because when I do open the restaurant, I want there to be like a yeah, buzz. You that is just crazy, huh? All those people that's been waiting all these As years. Said, to eat it. It's a method to the madness. Yeah, for sure. I mean, <laughs> honestly, I had I had your food one time and it wasn't my plate. I snuck it from somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Hey, whoever, yeah, if, if that person is watching this, like, that's where my plate was. I'm not going to say who the name is. This guy, all along, <laughs> but, sitting right next to you. <laughs> he's right. He, he's he been he's been at this thing for some time now. Right. And and the fact that you have it like that, I mean, one can't be mad. Dude, it's right, like, yeah. it's like It's like your favorite barber. If you if you don't get your Wednesday appointment, your ass is going to figure it out before Saturday, before the club, right? Or you got to wait till next week. Or you got to wait till next week and next <laughs> month. In this case, it's taking a little bit longer. And, right. and and I'm really glad you said that. Uh, let's segue into into a little bit about that because you've you've now touched into celebrity uh, catering for big parties, right. it's private straight to the house cookings. Right. But you recently, uh, you know, obviously in the years that you've been cooking, you've made some really good connections. Right. Shout out to Empire. You are mm. one of the uh, resident chefs at Empire, right? Totally. You know what oh, I mean? That's what's up. Uh, like, <laughs> I, I don't know if the boys knew that. I just kind of just dropped that. No, nah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I knew that. Um, that's how I was telling them about last week. We, uh, we had Damo on. You know, make yeah. sure you go run those numbers for Damo show. Damo. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, do you think that that's help? You know, being in probably one of the number one label now at this point, they're, they're really submitting themselves in in the game. Absolutely. Uh, being with the Busta Rhymes, the the Guap Dads, all the Bay Area artists from out here, from the Larry Junes and everybody out here. But, uh, you know, Empire's got a lot of down south artists. Right. Uh, Money Man, Jack right. Boy, uh, you know, a lot of them. Right. Um, and, and one I just said, <laughs> you know, because uh, you got a lot of partners and a lot of people that you do business with. Right. And you got this new restaurant coming out. And let's <laughs> let's talk about that. Before we get to the restaurant, let's talk a little more about Empire. Oh, okay. Right. Let's do that. So, I like that. Empire, um, and it's, it's kind of a crazy story how I started with Empire, right? So um, the rapper Kamaya. Oh, you know, shout Kamaya. out Kamaya. Yeah, right. definitely. Started off in the drop top dancing. Now nigga push drop top dancing. Say, baby, hey, how you I had been studying her page and I'm like, damn, she's one of the only people from the Bay that's a big artist that I've never cooked for, Ooh. right? I was trying to figure out a way to cook for her. So I DM'd her one day and I'm like, like, damn, how is it that I've cooked for every big artist in the Bay, but I haven't cooked for you? Ooh. And she's like, man, I don't know. I've been waiting on you to hit me. Ooh, that oh, was that. wow. <laughs> hey, <laughs> check me. Bada boom. <laughs> right? right, so I'm like, I'm like, well, where are you? Like, you know, can I bring you some food? Where are you? Literally. And um, she's like, oh, I'm at the studio. Come through. So I put together something, you know, randomly. Wait, time out. Time out. We got to <laughs> know what randomly means. Yeah, I mean, time out. Like, like, not even know what she liked or what she wanted. I mean, wanted. it's nope. different now because it's like, nope. you know, I mean, what, it, what, what goes through your mind? I mean, because you've been going, people, you know, people sending for you and everything. But like going to see rappers. I mean, in entertainment, in their entertainers, people that you grow up and probably listen to. Like, what, what's that feeling for when you're cooking? Because I know when you're cooking, you know, for a wedding or something, you kind of just putting units out, right? Taking your time, right? But how is this? Because I mean, like, what is it? One bad move can really be like it could be detrimental it be to everything. To everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So honestly, it's just I don't know. I kind of got over that back in the day, like when mm -hmm. I was doing a cooking for. Filthy and Mario Edwards, Jess Hilarious, those type of people, I kind of got beyond that fear. Uh, you know what I mean? Your confidence grew. Yeah, 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 facts. So once, on <laughs> once all those people said they liked it, you know, I you know, I kind of understood. Like, you know, yeah, I got you, this. You cut your sword. You got the confidence. Yeah, you know, kind of like playing ball. Yeah. Like, you know. Yeah. It's like chopping Please, the vegetables. Like, man, I put my <laughs> foot in that thing. <laughs> hey, <laughs> um, Also, kind of wanted to know, like, you know, do they reach out to you and tell you what they want? Or no. is it sometimes that you just bring whatever? So you put the menu together? Honestly, like none of my clients, they none of my clients tell me what they want at all. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That okay. just goes to show the confidence that they yeah, have they in know you. I got to put, put it out there because, you know, I, I wore this shit because I know he's going to see it. Hey, 
we some of your number one fans. <laughs> <laughs> but your boy Debo, like, how, yeah, how, how, how is it for cooking for him and some of the pro athletes that you have on, on your roster? Because, you know, they they have nutritionists. They have uh, right. people that tell them what to eat. Right. Um, you know, they, they got to be kind of cautious of what they eat because they, mm. you know, they get tests, all type of shit. Yeah. Like, right, right, right. How, how does that work? Do you so, already built that trust over the years that you've been working together or? So in the beginning, you know, we, we go through a list, right? Uh, and you tell me, like, what is your goal? Mm. What are you trying to do? What do you like and what do you dislike? You know what I mean? I get a list of those things and I literally create every day. Wow. Like, wow, you're just pairing their day and staying away from their aversions yeah. and their meal set. When I wake up in the morning, I don't even know what I'm cooking for breakfast. You just, Man. what's in the fridge? Yeah. Let's go. Wow. That's smart, Fact. though. That hey, makes sense. As long though. as you know what they don't want and what right. they can't have, right? then you could, like you said, create. Yeah. Exactly. Open up their palate, right? Speaking, yeah. speaking from the mind of a viewer looking in your Instagram, when, when, I, when I just nah, rock with me, guys, when I'm seeing you cook Debo breakfast, cook him lunch, cook him dinner. Are you there the whole time throughout the whole day cooking those meals? So, how does that How does well, that go? You're not flying it over with a drone. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, let's be honest though, you know what I mean? It's, these people are high prolific people that he has to go practice, he has to go training camp, he has right. to do shit. I right. mean, so it's not like he's gonna sit there for 16 hours and wait for three meals. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, 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 I want to know. Hey, uh, this is we, clear on some like fucking waffles. <laughs> <laughs> you know, keep it one hundred. How does how does this go? Because I mean, you you are, in a sense, living with them for a day or two, or do you just so, cook for the day, go back home? So, um, it really depends on the client, right? So, let's say when I was with T, right? That's T Grizzly, by the way. Right, right. So I spent the week with T in mm. um, Detroit in the snow. It was hey, crazy. That must have been an experience. So when I so when I'm with T, it was like wake up at six a.m. Mm. Mm go to the grocery store, figure out what you want to cook them for breakfast. Again, he told me a whole list of things like, I don't like this, I don't like tomatoes. Damn. I like That's hot me. sauce with everything. I don't know, fuck that. You're I keeping that like in it. mind as you go and you're putting it all exactly. together. Exactly, exactly. So I had breakfast for him like 9.30 every day. Ooh, you know, nice. That's when, when the baby wakes up and when they get downstairs and get to working. So I'll have you know all of it plated and on the table by 9.30. And then, so after I'm done with breakfast, I'll kind of wrap it up, clean up, and leave. Mm. And then I'll be back about 11.30 to do lunch. See, and at right? that point, do you go shopping and get the stuff yep. for lunch? Again, oh, wow. you're running back for all dinner. All over again. So it's yep. all fresh, so it's back and like, forth. It's yep. kind of like, man, that's that like a man. vacation and work, right? Though. Like, really? Or no? Do you Hell have to? no, nah, it's, al it's always like, I'm here, I'm back to the store. I'm yes. here, I'm back to the store. Yeah. Grinding, yes. though. And it it, it it becomes a little redundant, you know, mm. especially for my wife when she comes with me. It's like, mm. damn, we can't go have fun. <laughs> tell them, tell them yeah. to go to a restaurant. Not yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta pay the bill. Tell them to go to a restaurant. They gotta, tell them we, take can't, us. we can't go out tonight. We can't do this. And I'm like, nah, nah, like, yeah. uh -uh, it's, because, this is this is a thousand percent commitment. Yeah, yeah, facts, yeah for sure. Facts. But I just I understand, you know, where I'm going with this or where I want to go. Yeah. So. It takes I'm, that commitment. I'm willing to put that commitment in now, yeah, for sure. you know, so that I can get there. Exactly. You know what I mean? Definitely. That level of quality that you're trying to reach, right? Right. 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 So, no, nah, there, there isn't no partying or vacation yeah. and none of that. Like, it's literally just sleep. Get up, go cook again. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. That is a celebrity <laughs> chef. He trying to say, I'm a caterer. <laughs> hey, he is a celebrity <laughs> chef. <laughs> I mean, at, at this point, you know, you, you found your groove and, and right. you know what you're doing. Can right. you maybe mention some of the celebrities that you've been able to get on the, on the, grid, on the grill for and, and put so, on a nice meal for? So, so okay, so you know I cook for Empire, right? Right, right. So, so. every big artist that comes into Empire, I've cooked for. That's a check. From and that's mess, a lot. Right? From Lil Jon to Money Man to Sada Baby to King Von. And rest when, in when peace. that happens, are you like there at, at Empire? You're cooking for them there? Or, you're, so, or is this like personal cause? So it depends, right? Mm. So um, Damo, she always tries to get me there cooking, right? <laughs> it's always. Shout, shout out, out Damo. Yeah, yeah. She a yeah. real hustler. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so she always try to get me there yeah. in, in, the, in the studio in the cooking. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the time, like I'll cook it from home and just, just bring, bring it in. and plate it there. That's you know what so I mean? Nice. Man, I've cooked for a lot of athletes, um, Raider players, Trayvon Mullins, um, Gary on Conley before he got mm. traded, um, Debo Samuels, of course. Debo! Hey, hey, hey. Debo. hey he's tripping, man. We need to convert, Debo we need to convert him, Debo. I'm trying to work on it. I'm, I'm trying, trying to work on it. to the ground, Kyle. 
He's a receiver. I Ooh, come for Wes me. Welker. Um, oh, wow. From the That's what's up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. some glory? Hey. <laughs> any, any Warriors? Oh, uh, actually, Juan, Juan Anderson. Hey, Juan Anderson. Wow. Yeah, hey, JTA. JTA. Hey, JTA. Hey, 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 primo, primo. <laughs> First Mexican to get that, yeah. uh, that shit. Who, so, do, do you have um, certain clients that are like your regulars? Like, you just have them on a, like, on a regular schedule? So, honestly, with the cooking thing, it's never regular. Okay. Like, it's always like, this person's flying in. Got you. Debo, my mom's flying in. Um, can you. you come cook for us the weekend? Or can you do this this day? Or like, even with the, the meal prepping thing, right? Mm -hmm. I, I'm at the restaurant building that out. And I get a call from Debo like, hey, bro, the season's about to start. I need my meals ready. Uh -huh. yeah. Yep. Can you be here tomorrow? Damn. It's it's always like that. Like in this field, it's like it's always last minute. So we've we've talked about your first time with the restaurant. Right. Let's talk about where you're at today. You got this new beautiful restaurant being built. Congratulations, right. Chuck. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Cause Congratulations. I'm I'm like in the town. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice location, historic spot in, in, in Oakland. Right. Um, soon to be open soon. Yeah. What are what are some of the things that you're gonna bring to the restaurant that you're not currently doing with the catering or 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 with your with your clientele right now is there going to be some different things totally. obviously because you said that you know the average joe like me has been waiting mm -hmm. i'm hungry like i want to <laughs> you gotta give us a little what, insight to what, the what, menu what we got coming got so the menu is going to be crazy um saturday sunday we're doing brunch hey. some sundays we're going to do like a soul food type bottomless of thing. mimosas oh man uh, we're going to have all type of security, security. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we gotta go. <laughs> We're gonna have some crazy drinks, you know, smoking drinks, fire drinks, smoke drinks. Oh, like, wow. Uh, Risa Rita up in every, there? Man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Live broadcast uh, at a half hour yeah. show. Yeah. Yeah. We're just, we just playing seeds. Hey, uh, we just let us get in on the tasting. We shoot shot. Shot. We'll let you know if it's good enough. No, nah, ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna, um, I pride myself on, you already know, plating and things mm -hmm. like that. So, Basically, what we're going to do is introduce a restaurant that can compete with places like Ruth Chris, Morton's. I, I want to introduce things that other chefs haven't, you mm -hmm. know, a lot of different flavoring, a lot of crazy sauces. Got to, man. Like you said, to stand out, to be different from exactly. everyone else. Exactly. I mean, also mm -hmm. in, in kind of embodying and trapping, you know, I am I am who I am and I do have these people that I serve. So it's kind of right. like you have to keep us. You do kind of keep even coming, you know, you know, to the people that don't have that range of money to buy those type of meals or be catered to in that type of way. Right. You're Definitely still trying level. to bring that yeah. level and, and mix it together, right? Exactly. Yeah. Nice. Exactly. Well, That's let me ask you this: point. Are you doing like kind of? I mean, I know you, you, you from Frisco. You got the American twist to that. You talked about your friend's father's influence in Jamaican cuisine. Right. Is there a certain label that you would kind of give your food or some kind no. of fusion? You kind of no. open ended to what? no. Was good and to people, go. People ask me this all the time, right? Like, mm -hmm. what is your favorite food to cook? Or, no, I I like to do a broad variety of everything. Keep it open. A huh? little Asian, yeah. a little, you know, Spanish, that, yeah. uh, some That's of everything. Up, you know what right? I mean? Yeah. I like to implement flavors from everywhere. All over so, the world. Huh? So the restaurant is is gonna be a mirror of that. It, you know, I'm gonna have some of Fine. everything. A lot of different That's cuisines dope. all mixed That's together. That's what the world has to Multicultural. Offer. So, yeah. Safe to say a revolving menu. Something exactly. that's not set. And exactly. I, I think that that's just great. goes back to him being a creative person. You right. know, yeah. when you're creative, then the menu can be endless. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, exactly. I'm your boy. I see you cooking. You know, obviously, <laughs> anytime you do a Debo post, I'll be straight. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> uh, but... You know, uh, when you cooking when you cooking those type of meals, when you think about it, when people come into the restaurant and they're now going to be able to, to to taste these these tastes, right. like wh what are you seeing their experience being? Because you're saying the lines have to be wrapped around. Like, are you ready to see all that embodiment come in? You know, into fruition when this restaurant opens? Because it's I, I'm it's coming. I know, yeah. I know, and it's scary. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. You know, I get DMs daily from so many people. Like, you know, I can't wait. Put me on a VIP. I want to be there for grand opening. I mean, you out there in some nice prime real estate too. Right. Downtown Definitely. Oakland, Definitely. right next to Big Breath, Fabby Davis. You right, know what I'm right. saying? Location, location. Uh, right next to Cookies. Right. Right next to Osterdam College. Like right. That's a the real, heartbeat of a real thriving Oakland. area. Yeah. You know after, I mean? after, after, after you, uh, you go shopping, you know, go get you some grits. Right. right. And right. after that, you go catch a show right. at the Paramount or the Fox. Exactly. Ooh, man, exactly. Right? Complex is right around the corner yeah, as well. That's a big prime location. Yeah. For real. Yeah, so not to talk numbers, but it's been like 
around 890,000 invested into my restaurant Ooh. right now, Ooh. chef. It's it. You know, so it's it's money, money, it's money. a big deal. Mm -hmm. That's what's up, man. Yeah, thanks. I mean, obviously you you up there in the numbers, but I, I get the sense that it doesn't really matter what as long as it's done the right way, right? Exactly. Right. Exactly. And that's sure. you know, like that's the most important thing for me. So I know you've been having some some uh some build out going out over there in the spot right now. <laughs> right. I see I seen some nice construction. I, I seen some uh people coming over there giving you some of your flowers to the you know, just the opening of the doors of the restaurant. Right. It's looking really nice in there, man. Is there right. anything um that you know you want to put out there to people in the area right there that's gonna see this interview that's coming around that, you know, maybe a tentative date somewhere to look out for? It doesn't have to be exact, but you know. <sighs> Coming soon, sometime. So, sometime so. at least in 2022 or 2023? <laughs> no, definitely, definitely 2022. Okay, like, before the end of 2022. Mid-September. Right you know, on, Mid okay. to late September. Mm -hmm. you know, you. So, so is it going to be a venue where we could do like private events, yeah, run out the course. restaurant, of have a DJ drama come through? Of course. And shut it I mean, up. having that so, clientele, I mean, I know you're going to have some crazy opening day. Hell yeah, we got some. a custom DJ booth being built in there. Hey. Hey. So we, you nice. know. I don't even DJ, but I just want to come over there and just act like I'm <laughs> you got a you got a little stage being built something. where the happy hour oh, show Bay area could uh, <laughs> film a live yeah. episode. <laughs> Share some Reese yeah. readers. Come on, man. Direct from the Let's bar. Go. We got a full bar, you know, so we got a whole bar area, you know, uh, so you guys actually could that's yes. get back there and, hey. and create a I mean, we could get we could get Drotty up yeah. there and just keep saying live and direct. direct. We talk food. We talk politics, we talk big names, Man. and I can just say I've had such a great time having Brad come through. Uh, yeah, uh, sure. I'm, I'm literally like mouth watering, can't yeah, wait, wait for the restaurant. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, we can get in for a little soft taste test. Yeah, you know yeah. Yeah. yeah, please. But, um, it's, it's been an honor. I know you don't really do in, on the camera as much, but Brad, right. you're tripping. You should. You got a great yeah. story. You're a natural. Uh, your, your hustle from where you've come from, uh, you know, how you switched everything that you was going through, you know, your right. trials and tribulations. I know Currently, I won't put it out there, but I know you're going through a lot personally right now. Right. And just to see the drive in you and still seeing you get to fruition to the open opening of this restaurant and just the, you know, the clientele to keep going. Right. I, I'm just lucky to be your friend and see this journey, man. Right. And just thank you for the time that you come through and bless us today on the Happy Hour Show, Bay Area. That's good. For hey, real, man. Hey, and hey. before we go, be sure to let everyone know where they can follow you at. Exactly. Oh, man, I'm Queen's Kitchen. Please underscore kitchen on IG, C-L-E-A-Z underscore kitchen. All right, y'all. Another episode of Aloha Fridays. Yay! Part of the summer session with the Happy Hour Show Bay Area. Yay! Your boy, Mr. Overtime, alongside his cousins. Hey, Mikey Slacks. Friday, let's go. We keeping these episodes coming. 24, loading up. Get ready. Yay! Yeah,